Hi everyone. Doing a PhD uh, can oftentimes be a stressful process. Uh, you talk to anybody who is doing a who is is currently doing a PhD, going through the process, or who have graduated. Uh, they will have different kinds of stories to tell about the types of stress they would have dealt with. Indeed, it's an endeavor in science. It's a it's a it's a pursuit of truth. All that is fine, but uh, the course or the process in itself by definition uh, can create a lot of stressful situations because it is fundamentally different from the other type of courses that you hear about like the undergraduate course or the postgraduate course. These are all very well structured. Uh, you know what you are to going to learn. They are the, there are courses that you take which are well defined. Even if there are projects involved, those projects are also very well defined in the sense you it's there mostly development or a bit of research would be involved and you know what kind of what you're going to do. But for a PhD degree, what you do is you, you your main goal is to advance the boundary of known knowledge and to create or push the boundary of known knowledge. You create new knowledge, new observations. So that process in itself, you are venturing into the unknown. So even your supervisor. Uh, however supportive he or she may be uh, can only support you so much because you are in charge of your research and you need to advance this boundary of known knowledge. So this process can many a times cause stress which is very understandable right in the sense you set up some experiments and you uh, you hope to get some results in a week's time in a couple of weeks time and uh, maybe the everything everything is good but results may not uh, be what you might have expected. Uh, first of all, you should not expect a result because you should see what is coming and then analyze it. You will have an hypothesis which you test, but you may not even get there. Let's say you have to use like say three, four different types of samples and in the process of sample preparation, you make a mistake and you lose a, a week's time, a month's time or even six months time if the samples are dependent on many other collaborators. So all these processes, this process of doing its research itself can cause stress. Okay, this video is not about how PhD causes stress. This is known to everybody. There may be differing opinions where people will say it's a very passionate process. It, you should be able to enjoy it and all those things. Yes, indeed, it's enjoyable. But anything where you put lot of your mental energy, commitment, and dedication into it, uh, you also expect lot of things to happen. And if that doesn't happen, it can cause stress. Like we are human beings. So this video is about uh, in my journey how I was handling stress. And how did I face it initially and how I handled it? I am trying to keep this as brief as possible. Let's see. So uh, as some of you might know, I joined uh, for PhD after almost four years in the industry. So as you, I was used to this development environment, engineering development environment. I knew what is what I'm supposed to do and I used to get it done. But then I got into research and uh, bef and I got in before without doing a post graduation. So I did my undergraduate. And then I did, I worked for like three and a half, four years and then I got into the PhD program, right? So for those who go into a PhD after a master's degree in their final year project, they at least get involved in a lab and then see other PhD students and kind of understand how this research environment is. I was not exposed to any of this. I just went in with a gut feeling. And also from the stories that I've heard from people that, okay, you should be very committed in your PhD research. You should spend your 24, 25 out of your 24 hours in your lab and do maximum effort, uh, put all the effort into it, etc. So I was, I went in with this mindset. So started off and I had to, because I joined after an undergraduate degree, I had to do a lot of courses along with starting my research journey as well. So, uh, I had to take like six courses and I had to start reading up on what research I want to do and even set up some small experiments. So I was like in the first couple of months, I used to like work all seven days, go for classes, come back to the lab, meet my supervisor, all those things. But somehow down the line within these two months, I realized that it's not really working out. I'm just getting burnt out, you can say, but I was not kind of taking a uh, good use out of my time spent in. Then I went back and kind of revisited why this is happening to me and then I realized that I enjoyed going going for bike rides on my bike and I had got my bike a year before I joined PhD and that is not happening because I was simply not getting the time. That's when I realized okay I need to at least drive. At that point I did not think that I should do this to relieve my stress or I did not even realize that this is stress. I was just thinking that I am trying to do my job. Then I realized okay somehow it's not I'm not able to enjoy the process so not really stress but I'm not able to enjoy the process so 
let me do something else so what i did was i started going for bike rides just getting out of bangalore in the morning on sunday mornings so i used to get up like 4 4:30 uh, earlier than usual work days and then just get out of bangalore drive there are a lot of beautiful places near bangalore so i used to go to hesaragatta banargatta makali durga savan durga lot of places uh, br hills bilingi randa hills dd hills devraya durga hills so many places and sometimes alone sometimes with lab mates who were willing to come on a sunday morning we used to go most of the time i used to go and then have some tea or breakfast from wherever i go it used to be very serene environment and then i used to be back only maybe post lunch that day so the all entire sunday morning used to be blocked with this activity and then i used to come back by evening i start i would just get my mind back to the real world and then think about what i wanted to do i started doing this almost 3 4 months after after i began my my phd and it started to help me a lot and then things changed and i still try to keep keep my tradition i used to go go for rides with my wife we used to have a sunday morning breakfast which eventually became a ritual which we still do morning sunday mornings we try to find a place to to some interesting breakfast so those things happened and that traveling kind of helped me do well in my professional sphere as well so this this these two started to coexist in a very good way and that's also the reason that you might see a lot of travel videos in my channel because this is also a fuel to my professional life as well so it kinds of opens up my mind and i see different places and kind of get, helps helps me generate creative thoughts and even science doing research is also a creative process at many levels and it kind kind of helps you bring new ideas so all this coexisted and the idea of having this time set aside for exploring the world has helped me explore myself uh, in a way over the years so this was one way i was trying to manage my stress which helped out a lot going on sunday rides and all those things just keeping sunday aside and taking that break uh, helped me with the phd work and maybe it might be something else for you and you just need to find out what kind of gives you that kick to get back to monday morning happily and then that should work out thank you see you in the next video